Alright guys, this is a follow up from the previous video um, I'm going to get around to installing the um, 600 TVL camera from Banggood.com I'm going to wire it all up Now, on the last video I showed you that it had a little socket here where uh, the stock camera plugs into the um, the plug here. Well, fortunately enough, I found a little um, socket, and I have lots of them. I bought them from eBay. Um, a big stack of them. Uh, they were only like three pound. Um, I don't know why I bought so many, but. Uh, they were charging too much for like a couple of them here in the UK so for the price I just waited for them coming from abroad and I uh, got a whole stack of them so these plugs work and they will fit perfectly into the the little plug so tiny it's hard to get your hands in there let me just show you here and the wiring matches perfectly. Let's see if you can see. Positive, negative, and the signal wire. Everything matches up just nicely. So that's brilliant. All I need to do now is snip the cable down to size, solder them onto the camera, and where are you? Modify the holder, get the camera in there, and get it done. So, I'll send a link in the description where you can get these cables from if you need them. So you can get the plugs, um, or you can just solder it yourself. Right, I'm going to go and solder it all up, and I'll uh, show you what I've done, and I'll also modify the... Um, the actual holder for the camera and show you what I've done with that as well so I'll be back shortly I have found out so far is you cannot modify the holder and put the camera in there and be able to modify this part and put it over and screw it back in for the simple fact is you're going to be taking the circle bits that go into the swivel part of the helicopter I mean the quadcopter sorry uh, so I've come up with a better idea basically we're not going to use this front piece uh, we are going to use a bit of 3mm sticky foam and we're going to stick it inside the holder right about there if you can see right. and we will stick the camera on that once it's uh, all wired up nicely and we'll straighten it out that sticky tape uh, double sided sticky foam should hold it it holds most of my other cameras if not then a little bit of uh, hot glue will help to hold that even more um, so I'll go and get that wired up just now and I'll be back yet again and hopefully with the finishing results uh, the little plug soldered onto the camera now all we need to do is tape it onto the little bit where I showed you earlier on, which get a uh, double sided uh, foam tape on. Tape it onto there, plug it in, put everything back together and we should be good. Keep my fingers crossed, okay? Alright be back again right that's me basically done uh, connecting the camera to the actual holder it wouldn't just 
stay stuck with uh, um, the double sided foam so I've had to put well I use sugar but you guys will probably use hot glue um, to keep that stuck there might need to use a wee bit more actually it's not fully cured yet but it's sitting on there nice and straight just ready and waiting to get put in um, I always forget back to front camera right so there you go that's what it looks like just don't forget to wire it up properly and I think I'm going to put it in just now and fire it up and see how it looks I'm also going to take it for the test flight and um, do a comparison between uh, the stock camera and this uh, even if it doesn't work out too good I can still put the, the stock camera back on I basically just need to pull that bit of double sided uh, foam tape off and put that back on so I haven't really done any harm to it like I said I did get round to uh, cutting down the, the actual holder to see if it would work a different way but it didn't work but it wouldn't make any difference if you were to, to put the, the stock camera back in again you know so right time to get cracking and get this in Right, that's it. All done. Camera is installed. Right here. Get a focus on that. There you go. And everything's sitting nice and perfectly in there. Wired up good. Now, let's plug it in and see if it works. And what do you know? We have a picture.